The utilization of Procellera has positive outcomes treating some of the most challenging wounds, including diabetic foot ulcers. Healthcare professionals are reporting Procellera's outstanding performance on these types of wounds and using the microcurrent dressing as a first course of treatment in their advanced wound care therapy regime. Here is a diabetic with a common foot ulcer. With the proper moisture control and following doctor's orders, Procellera is very effective in treating acute and chronic diabetic foot ulcers. Here's an example of the efficacy of Procellera on a chronic wound. This elderly diabetic male was treated for several years without success and was ultimately offered amputation. Within one week of treatment, there was noticeable improvement of the wounds and within five weeks, the wounds were closed and amputation avoided. This is a 52-year-old insulin-dependent diabetic man presented with a complex infected wound and osteomyelitis of the right foot. The patient had already previously sustained a left below knee amputation and had previously failed negative pressure wound therapy on this wound and was scheduled for amputation. This patient had comorbidities including hypertension, cardiomyopathy, anemia, mild renal failure, MRSA, and peripheral neuropathy. The wound was treated with Procellera and covered with a sterile semi-occlusive dressing with dressing changes every three days. Negative pressure wound therapy was reapplied in combination with Procellera to reduce edema and facilitate granulation tissue formation to prepare the wound bed for skin grafting. After eight weeks of treatment, there was significant granulation, a skin graft applied, and the limb was saved. This diabetic patient had failed all other methods of treatment over the course of 18 months and responded to five months of Procellera treatment. This diabetic male had two areas of full thickness skin loss from a burn with exposed bone and tendon. This wound was infected and had no pulse at the wound site. It failed treatments including negative pressure wound therapy and hyperbaric chamber treatment and was scheduled for amputation. Both wounds responded well to procellar treatment and the limb was salvaged without the need for additional surgical procedures or bioengineered skin substitutes. Here is another challenging wound. In the two Phoenix VA cases presented here, the doctors commented that the wounds demonstrated a response to microcurrent stimulation by means of Procellera and that the biophysical stimulus promoted wound healing via stimulation of the dormant cells. The doctors noted in their poster presentation that the case studies also showed faster healing, reduction in pain, and antimicrobial reduction. Diabetic wounds are often compounded by a wide array of challenging comorbidities. Procellera's versatility enables it to be used as a first course of treatment or as a last resort to save a limb. Procellera's success may be affected by other contributing elements slowing the wound progress, including infection, poor vascularization, smoking, offloading, and high hemoglobin A1C levels.